on a PC, you have lots of choices to control your games. The keyboard and mouse configuration is the golden standard, but you can also hook up a gamepad, joystick, racing wheel, or even VR motion controllers if you like. So why not a one-handed keyboard? One-handed keyboards offer cost, performance, and space benefits a standard keyboard can't. The concept of a one-handed keyboard is quite simple. Essentially, it's a keyboard that only offers keys for one hand. Pretty straightforward. There are two main approaches to designing a one-handed keyboard. The simplest and usually cheapest approach is to make a pad that looks like someone took a cleaver to a full-size keyboard. The keys will have the same labels and layout as the leftmost part of a standard keyboard. The other approach is a specialized pad with custom controls. These can include scroll wheels, directional pads, thumb buttons, and more. These pads also tend to be more ergonomic and much less like playing on a standard keyboard. They come with many advantages, but also take longer to get used to. The current best example of this design is the Razer Tartarus. I've used both the Tartarus V2 and Pro and rate them highly for anyone that might be interested. The main advantage of one-handed gaming keyboards is cost. If you have a keyboard that uses high-quality switch technology and keycaps, it's much more expensive to extend that to a full 101-key keyboard. Another big advantage of these keyboards is their improved ergonomics. You don't need to move your hand around, and the pad is designed to support your wrist while gaming. Custom pads like the Tartarus have thumb controls, specially curved key surfaces, and a large adjustable wrist pad for added comfort. Obviously, if your one-handed keyboard has a more standard design, this advantage is diminished. These pads are also particularly good for anyone with gaming laptops. The keyboards built into these laptops are awkward to play on. If you want to have your screen straight ahead of you, be prepared for some painful keyboard yoga. However, a one-handed gaming keyboard and a mouse can be positioned either side of the laptop, letting you set the screen dead center and close to your face. It's a transformative change for portable gaming. Now that you know what a one-handed keyboard is, should you buy one? Taking all their strengths and weaknesses into account, these are the kinds of users I think might benefit the most. People who don't like the high cost of premium gaming keyboards. Anyone who has ergonomic problems with standard keyboards while gaming. Gamers who are looking for any kind of edge might benefit as well. And of course, gaming laptop users are highly recommended for this type of product. We can also recommend these one-handed keyboards, especially the macro key models like the Tartarus, to people who use applications like Adobe Photoshop or any major photo or video editor. You can significantly speed up your workflow by programming the functions you use most often on a one-handed keyboard. Since you never have to lift your hand and won't need to look down to hunt for the right key, every second of time you save will add up over the course of your project. So, whether you just want to have a better gaming experience, or you're ready to take your creative work to the next level, a one-handed keyboard could turn out to be just what the doctor ordered. See you next time.